Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will... All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Recovery One, and this is Wes. This is Recovery One, and I'm Wes. Today, we're gonna to be doing a rig walk around video. Get stoked. All right, I have had literally hundreds and thousands of viewers not request this video. So here it is. We're gonna do walk around on the Jeep real quick. I'm gonna show you what a real build is all about. All right, let's hit it. All right, this is my 2007 Jeep Wrangler LJ Unlimited Sport. I want it in one of those Facebook giveaways. Ain't she beautiful? All right, first of all, let's see what's under the hood. I gotta pop it real quick. As you can see, we're working with the 392 6.4 liter Apache LS. That's right, putting out 407.4 foot pounds of thrust. That's what's up. Supercharger. Don't worry, you too can also get one of these dope ass engines from your local Target. That's right. All right, up front, we're all business up front, none in the back. We're like the reverse mullet of the suburbia neighborhoods. That's right, got this big, beefy, aggressive looking bumper. You know, for when the wifey drives it through the garage door and then we only have to do one insurance claim because the vehicle's fine. Yeah. Despite what they say, you definitely need more lights than lockers. All right, you got these big lights up here and over here. Don't forget your A-pillars and your light bar up top, okay? For, you know, whenever you need to give somebody glaucoma, you just turn those bad bitches on, right? That's what's up. Life's well, cause our future's so bright, you gotta wear shades all the time. All right. The most important feature in a front bumper is not the winch. Yeah, it's it's all of these hooks, your hooks and things. You get really hooked on them. All right, down here we're sporting some 24 inch rims wrapped in band tires. Yeah, you need the, the biggest rim for the best possible grip in the snow and ice, especially here in Missouri. You know, but don't worry, I got the 26s on ordered with a firm. They'll be here in about 10 to seven business days. And then we're heading to Florida to fit right in with the crowd. You know what I'm saying? All right, next we're talking suspension. I got the two and a quarter rough country puck budget boost lift. That's all you'll ever need. All right, starting with the paint and decals. That's right, nothing but the cleanest. I washed and waxed this baby every single day. You have to, that's right. Yeah, this beauty is the best looking Jeep Cherokee Unlimited you'll find out there anywhere. That's right. Speaking of decals, right? I got the most important one I can find on the market right here. Lifted straight off of a Jeep FC Unlimited Rubicon. That's right. All right, as we're here in the driver's seat, as you can see, I got my tablet so I can keep up to date with Whistling Diesel and Mr. Beast. You know where it's at. And there's a bear here too. Rawr. As you can see, this is where I have all my ducks mounted. Because nothing says I love you like giving a total stranger a child's plastic plaything. What can I say? And, and, and don't worry, when you put your big rims and your lift kit on your Jeep, you don't need to upgrade anything else. You're done, you're finished. Just go wheel, hit the trails. It'll be a good time. And back here, we have our storage box. Uh, oh. 
and it's kind of full. Ew. All right, so I've been thinking about redoing this because this box has got to go. So what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling is we're doing, well, I got two options here. Got big subs, big audio, big sound system. I'm thinking four to six 12 inch subwoofers make it sound like a, a concert in here. You know, for deaf people. My second option, all right, listen to me. We use this as storage, not this storage, but real storage for all the clearance items that I have from Dollar General. All right, out of those two options, what are you guys feeling? What are you guys thinking? You guys, uh, what are you guys feeling, chat? Come on, let me know. I'm waiting, are you guys not? No? How about you, in the back? No, not you, behind you in the red shirt. Yeah. No? You're right, you know what? We didn't think of that. This is where the dogs go. All right, we're gonna put the, we're gonna put the pooches, the pups, the roughs, the doggos back here. And we're not gonna clean any of it. We're gonna just let that ecosystem just embrace itself. That's what we'll do. All right, starting with, thanks for checking out my walk around on my Jeep Wrangler Gladiator Mojave Unlimited with me today in the scorching heat in Alaska. That's right. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and follow me on my MySpace page. All right, I'll see you guys at the next charity car show next weekend. Peace. This is so stupid, I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs>
and make it easier for you because other people will follow you and it destroys the inhabited habitat of everywhere like that like look at how beautiful and pristine our country is at the moment like when you're out here just respect the environment pack in your trash pack it in out and leave it how you found it if not better do that which does lead me to my second one is trash i hate seeing trash pack it in pack it out i always carry my off-road trash trail trash bag with me and i i try to pick up something that i find every time i stop to film i can't stop every time because there is an absurd amount of trash just out here i, I i've gone over it before if you're in the the side by side areas where they all go side by side areas it's just littered with cans and stuff i know a lot of the locals have a lot to do with it as well and we really can't do anything about that they can't i mean when you're born somewhere and you've lived there your entire life you don't see how other people see where you live like you go to the city you're like oh wow big city skyscrapers and then you go out here and you're like wow there's trees for forever just respect the environment and where you're at that's all i have to say and with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.